There are concerns about domestic terrorism this morning, fears that the El Paso shootings could inspire copycats. Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas has more on that side of the story. He's there in Washington for us. Good morning, Pierre. Robin, good morning. Yes, there's deep concern on a special conference call with all FBI field offices and state and local police across the country. The message from the FBI was clear. Quote, the FBI remains concerned that U.S.-based domestic violent extremists could become inspired by this weekend's attacks and previous high-profile attacks to engage in similar acts of violence. In other words, be on the lookout, Robin. Okay. So many people are, are asking, why is not more being done to confront this, Pierre? Robin, there really are no domestic terrorism statutes in the way that there are a number of federal laws on the books that allow the FBI to pursue international terrorism suspects like ISIS and Al Qaeda. And Robin, to give you a sense of how urgent the threat is, the FBI just this past spring launched a domestic terrorism hate crimes fusion cell that shares information within the bureau and with state and local officials to try to get a better handle on these kinds of threats. So what else can be done in addition to this? Does the FBI need some help in this regard? FBI officials said they're always looking for more support and tools, and they're emphasizing right now that all of law enforcement needs to be sharing more information about domestic terror. But a number of retired law enforcement officials say that domestic terror needs to be put on the same footing as foreign terrorist, terrorist threats like the KKK and neo-Nazis, and that they need to be put on the same footing so that they can be dealt with the way we deal with ISIS and al-Qaeda. And people can't understand why that's not the case. Just what they you said right Robert, there. They can't. All right. Thanks, Pierre. Pressure will be on Congress to act on that when they come back in September. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.